So do you guys want to know how to take out a legion of pharaohs in the new lethal zone? Do you want to be able to just destroy and whoop some pharaoh ass? Oh, oh, oh shit. What is going on? Oh no. Oh fuck. Pharaohs ain't shit. Hey, hey guys, what's going on? Brian back with another video. And today, guys, I will be teaching you guys how to fight Blood Plague Pharaohs. So if you guys are new to the Lethal Zone and you are having a problem with the Blood Plague Pharaohs, in this video, I'll be showing you all the different ways to fight them and how to make it a little bit easier. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so the first thing we're going to go over here is the Blood Plague Pharaoh. I know one thing a lot of you guys have probably noticed is when they come at you, um, a lot of you guys are still receiving plague damage when you dodge them. Now, the thing is, is we're used to fighting regular pharaohs where when they would run at you, you would dodge right through them. And with plague pharaohs, you don't want them to touch your character at all. Like, even though you're like, oh, that was a clean dodge, you need to dodge to the side. So when they come at you, dodge to the side. Don't dodge through them because... I got lucky there, but generally, even when you dodge through them, you'll still get plagued. I'm just getting really lucky here over and over and over again. But you guys know what I mean. You want to kind of just dodge to the side every single time. And that will 100% guarantee that you will not get plagued at all. As you guys can see. So just before, before any fighting tips, you just want to make sure that you have stim. Because stamina will keep you alive when fighting these guys. And yeah, just dodge to the side. Alright, so now we're going to go into 1v1 combat with these guys. Now, the only problem with dodging to the side is it creates a big gap. But you want to close the distance on Pharaohs and just hit them as many times as you possibly can. Now, when they jump back, that's when you want to jump back. And then you're just going to continue hitting them, guys. And then, boom, so he's stunned up. All right, and again, you want to dodge, get your space, run up to them, and start swinging. Now, when they do their jump back, that's when you want to jump back. He's going to jump. And once again, guys. You just stab them up. Now, the thing is, 1v1 melee in a feral, it might seem really scary, and you don't you want to be careful with catching plague, but as long as you dodge their jump back attack, their attack animation is always gonna be exactly the same. And I will show you again. So you dodge to the side. I don't have enough space there. Dodge to the side, sprint up. Now. Hey bud. Dodge, dodge. You always want to dodge back twice, guys. Don't don't get involved, guys. I'm making a guide right now. Seriously. Well, screw them. All right, let's try, let's try this again, guys, without the interruption. So, like I said, I want to get space, sprint up. Start swinging. Now, I know he's coming with his attack. I counter. He's coming. And, it, and that's the good thing about Pharaohs, guys, is before they're going to attack you, they will broadcast. Their, they will jump back in some way, shape, or form. As you guys see, I just took out about four or five Plague Pharaohs, and I didn't get touched a single time. It's all about just making sure you have stamina items and that you are just properly using your dodge button. Now, the next thing we will be going over, guys, is if you have a character that has the powerhouse skill, this will make fighting Pharaohs uh, pretty easy. And I will show you guys how to do that now. All right, guys. Now, for the drop kick, you want to do the same thing. You want to try to get your space, run up, and just drop kick them. And then you just execute. And now that's something you can get pretty early game. Um, the only thing is it's a R it's pretty RNG whether you're going to actually land somebody with the powerhouse skill or not. 
But yeah, you pretty much just run up and you, you just drop kick them and it will automatically put the feral in the stun state. All right, guys. So the next thing we're going to be discussing, and this is something that you will definitely be able to take advantage of, regardless of having a powerhouse skill or being able to get really, really good timing down with your dodges. Heavy weapons, guys. I know a lot of you hear a lot of people talk about them saying they're not really all that good. Well, I could tell you right now, guys, they are wrong. And I will show you right now how effective heavy weapons can be against blood plague ferals. All right. So it's the same thing, guys. Uh, you, you got your stems. You want to get your spacing, run up, and then just start hitting. And as you can see, when you do this, you're just going to keep the feral CC'd. And they'll never be able to get up, guys. They're just going to stay like that until you stun them, and then you just execute them. And that works uh, with the heavy weapons. Once you start hitting the feral, they just can't get out of the stun lock. And I will show you again. So same thing. Get your spacing. By dodging to the side, run up, start CCing him. And he's just going to stay there. And he's just going to keep getting hit, guys. And then eventually you're going to stun him. And you kill him. And I'll show you guys one more time. All right. Spacing. And you got him CC'd. And then you, you kill him. Now, this used to not work the way the heavy weapons used to be. Because when you would swing, you wouldn't move forward. But now, when you swing, you move forward. And, uh, yeah, it, it works really, really, really good, guys. Now, guys, I have practiced and practiced. And I've learned that fighting a Plague Pharaoh without any weapon, like just trying to use a close quarters weapon, it's um without the close quarters combat ability on a fresh character it's just not gonna pan out very well for you so i advise you to use at least some kind of melee weapon where that whether that be like like i showed you before like the heavy weapon or um like when i first started i was using the blunt weapon um and even bladed weapons work pretty well against the plague pharaohs because of the attack speed and um the only downside to it is they break down pretty quick. So I'll showcase how to use Fight a Fire with a bladed weapon. All right, so same thing. You're going to try to get your spacing by dodging to the side. Close the distance. Now the only downside to the um the bladed weapons compared to the, the other weapons um is when you hit the feral with the uh blunt weapons you have a chance to stun him and go for the execution but with the bladed weapons you do not get that um as you see i want to go explain that to you guys and i missed the dodge by a couple seconds and i ended up getting hit but um as you guys can see the bladed weapons aren't as effective as the blunt weapons but they are still possible to use um to 1v1 the pharaoh all right guys now i'm gonna go into some just basic firearms tactics on how to um shoot a pharaoh um the plague pharaoh 1v1 um Right here, I'm just using an M9 pistol. I'm not even using a super good gun. And I'm going to show you guys how to utilize the same dodging techniques to be able to line up some good shots on a Plague Pharaoh. Now, here we go. Now, it's the same thing, guys. You want to just make sure you get your space You're by dodging to the side. And as you can see, the Pharaohs will always run at you in a straight line. Um, so as long as you get the clean dodge and you take your time, you, as you guys can see, you can just get nice straight line shots. Like, you don't have to worry about dodging side to side. Because if you dodge in weird angles and stuff like that, you're going to give the feral a chance to, like, go side to side. So you just want to dodge. Try to make as much space between you and the feral as possible. And try to line up a straight shot. I'll show you guys again. So you want to dodge. And as you're, you're running away from him, too, after you dodge. That way you're continuing to open up that gap. And give yourself more time. Open up the gap. And once you start hitting a feral, it stuns him in place. So even if you're not hitting headshots, guys, you are still 
slowing the ferrule down and you're keeping them from um, closing in on you. And I will show you guys right now what it's like when you just sit there and stun lock them with a pistol or any type of hand or any type of gun. All right, so here, I'm just gonna show you guys that even without hitting headshots, you, you could just keep the ferrule stunned in place but I was still hitting headshots. But as you guys can see, you do, each of your shots don't have to be a headshot. Um, and you will hold the ferrule pretty good in place. So as you guys can see, it doesn't require much more than like a, melee, a simple melee weapon or even a simple pistol to be able to um, deal with the ferrule 1v1. And now it will showcase um, a couple consumable items that you can use to help you out with ferrules. All right, guys. So the things I'm going to be showing you real quick are here are the flashbang grenades. We're going to be going over to uh, smoke grenades. And then I'm going to teach you how to CC ferrules with fire objects. So once again, as always, guys, you want to make sure you're getting your distance. Now, I know he's behind me. Boom. And it stuns him in place. Gives you a chance to go up and execute. So... The flashbang grenades are just a instant stun, but the thing is you want to make sure when you use the flashbang grenade that you are far away from it because if you're too close to the flashbang grenade when it goes off, it will actually stun you and you won't get the opportunity to um, uh, get to the feral before he gets out of his stun state. So you want to make sure that you're running away after you make space, throw it behind you, and it will give you a chance to run up and execute the pharaoh Best. so here we go again i'm just going to showcase how to use the flashbang grenades now another downside to the flashbangs guys is they attract other zombies um they make a lot of noise but at this point killing the pharaoh is uh he's the most dangerous thing that you got to worry about in the lethal zone so even if your flashbang does happen to call you know a bloater over to the area or a screamer to the area um the fact that you dealt with the feral that was some good aim right there guys the fact that you dealt with the feral is pretty much all that you guys are worried about but yes um that is a viable option is the flashbang grenade now, the next item we're going to go over here, guys, is the smoke grenade. Now, this one is a little more inconsistent. Um, it all just kind of depends on how the game is. But when you pop a smoke and you enter the smoke, it's supposed to make you invisible to the feral. But as you can see, the ferals still act really, really funny. Um, but it, it, it's like sometimes they'll hit you, but then sometimes they won't. So you got to be really careful with the smoke grenade, but... For the most part, if you're in the smoke, you should be all right. But the, you see what I'm saying? But it's it's more of like a, a get away. Uh, you want to use smoke grenades to kind of just get away from a feral. But as you can see, they, they kind of just follow you around. So as you can see, they work, but then they don't work. All right, now last but not least, we're gonna actually move on to something that is very, very viable and very reliable. Like I said, the smoke or the uh, flashbangs take a little uh, getting used to, and the smoke is extremely unreliable. But fire, guys, will always work, and fire is what we're gonna use for the advanced part of this guide. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna showcase how to use the fire. It's pretty simple. So uh, you got a feral on you. Um, you don't have a lot of stamina. Say we don't have stamina items. It's the same thing. You want to make space, you, but then you want to put fire in between you and the feral. And what's going to happen is he's going to hit that fire, and it's going to stun him like that. And it gives you a chance to get more space. And as you can see, the feral doesn't know exactly where I am. He's going to, but eventually, if I would have kept going, he wouldn't have been able to kept, keep up with me. But same thing. gonna use the fire and the and then if you want you're gonna put more fire in between you and the feral just constantly and this will give you a chance to just keep running away and eventually you can get away um now this is due to the fact that we don't have any 
plague busters or any items that are actually designed to kill ferals um so fire at all costs guys is just your way to escape a feral and as you guys can see he probably circle around the back side there but other than that he does not know where i am and i just lost him now here we go guys to the part that you all have been waiting for now brian what do we do if there is more than one feral well i'm going to tell you guys right now you got two choices three choices you're going to try to run you're going to fight or you're going to die now the thing about fighting the multiple pharaohs guys fighting three pharaohs it doesn't matter how good of a player you are um even the best players caught off guard you have the potential to die to the triple feral it is a, uh, the triple plague feral it is very dangerous and very hard to deal with and even the slightest bit of uh the slightest mistake will get you killed uh you do need a little luck and everything for this to work but the number one thing that i advise you to do immediately that you notice there's three pharaohs on you pop some kind of stimu um some kind of stim or um like a, a express not espresso like a uh energy drink or a bottle of stims because you're going to need the stamina to keep up with the constant dodge um that you're gonna have to do now let's get into it guys all right, so you got three ferals on you, and you're sitting here. Like I said, you want to make sure, even with three, that you're dodging to the side, guys, because it's going to do the same exact thing. And then uh, you could do the same thing with the flashbang. It'll knock all three of them down. It'll give you a chance to kill one. And then you want to do the same thing. You want to keep running, and then you want to use fire. The fire will stun him. Give you a chance to kill him. Dodge to the side. I'm reloading. So now, now what I can do is start fighting him. Now I got company. So when you got company on you, you don't want to try to melee a feral. It could get you in trouble. So I should just shoot this guy. But... I'll fight him. Gotta make sure it's dead. Dodge to the side. And then you'd execute him. And that was me using a bunch of different techniques all at the same time. But mainly you could have just done the same thing with the fire. Um, the, the flashbangs are nice against feral packs because, like I said, it'll stun all three of them. It'll give you the chance to kill two of them. And then once you kill two of them, or it'll give you a chance to kill one of them, and it'll, it'll leave you at two. And now at that point, like I said, you want to focus them down one at a time. If you try to take all three of them at once, you're going to die. Um, so just take your time. Try to get them bunched up. Um, do your dodges. And at that point, it'll give you a chance to make space, knock them down, and CC them. And then take them out one by one. All right, guys. So now I'm going to get into something that's uh, a little bit... Uh, I guess you could say an easy way to take them down. Now, 50 Chaos guys are really, really good against the Plague Pharaohs because they kill them in one hit regardless of the armor. Um, it goes right through the armor and kills them. So if you do have a chance to get your hands on a 50 cal and you can carry it around with you, um, it is a very good weapon. Now, the BFG is better against a Feral Pack due to the fact that it, it you can keep shooting, but things like the BFG are really, really loud and will call other zombies. Things like the Timberwolf are a little bit better, even though it's worse against three ferals it's still really good um due to the fact that it's not as loud and i'll show you guys how the 50 cal works now so it's the same thing guys i got a feral on me um i don't want to sit here and do any of this other stuff so you just make space let them straight line you and you just one shot them and the same thing goes when you have multiple ferals on you you're just gonna do it one feral at a time and i will show you how to do that so i'm gonna make my space do my dodges all right so i had some bad timing there that one's down. That one's down. That one's down. I messed up one of my dodges, but as you can see, the 50 cows will call in the party, guys. So you want to make sure um, that if you are going to use a 50 cal, you want to be ready for what's going to come after the fact. 
because uh they will get you in trouble now like i said the whole point of fighting a feral isn't to do it without getting hit at all guys it's just to mainly make sure that you can kill the feral before it plagues you or kills you so taking a hit or two is whatever it's it's gonna happen you're gonna you're not gonna have uh perfect timing every single time but using some of these tactics guys it doesn't matter how many ferals are on you if you have the things like you know the fire and the the grenades and something like a 50 cal to pull them down one by one you could technically just fight as many as you need to fight all right guys so i hope uh i was able to uh help you guys out a little bit give you guys some little tips and tricks here on how to deal with plague ferals i know a lot of you guys coming into the lethal zone this is all pretty new um and uh, yeah, these are just some little tips, guys, to get you guys, uh, give you guys some ideas on what you got to do to start fighting ferals. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, uh, you know, hit me with that sub. Um, if you guys like the video, give it that thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.